How's it going everyone? Steel Scissor here, bringing you guys another episode of the Soul Silver Randomized Card Lock. We will do a quick team recap as always. Try and keep these short and sweet. We got Smokey, our Magmar, rocking the new, newly taught Fire Fang, which everyone can learn apparently. So we might have to go back and teach some other people that. But we got Faint Attack, Rock Smash, and Smoke Screen. We are now holding the Focus Band because we don't have anything better. Um, we also have Teller with Extra Sensory and the newly learned Earth Power. Kinesis and Disable with the leftovers. We also have Arthur, our highest level, 21, with Headbutt, Double Kick, Poison Sting, and Peck uh, holding the Black Sludge. So he's got, I guess, the most variety on our team for types. Uh, types of moves, uh, moves, I mean. We got Dim. I don't know. If we get a full art, I might swap out Dim for um, someone else. I'm not quite sure yet because he's only she's only level 6. But we got Sheldon, our Cloister, with Aurora Beam, Supersonic, Bite, and Protect. And Hansel, who we're getting up there, who's holding a Great Ball with Scratch, Baton Pass, Sand Attack, and Astonish. So let's take the Great Ball from him, or her, I should say. And I think we are going to start this one off by taking on the gym. Let's start this episode off by taking on the gym. We're, we're kind of iffy on the levels, other than Arthur. Um, I am going to lead Sheldon, I think. Just for the gym trainers. Hopefully we can get Sheldon up to 18 by the time we battle the gym. That way we have three Pokemon at 18 and then Arthur at 21. I'd feel I'd feel more safe with that. Got to get a radio. Oh, we got to go to the radio tower first. Forgot about that. So we'll check this out. I think we can do a little quiz in here too for something. Hi, my name's Whitney. I heard about the quiz to win radio cards, so I came here to get one. But this quiz is so hard. Oh, we have to do the quiz. Answer five questions correctly in a row to win a radio card. When you load it into the Poke Gear, you'll be able to listen to the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to try our quiz? Yes, I would. The first question. Can you check the town map with your Poke Gear? Yes, you can. You are correct. The second question. Nidorina can only be female. True? Yep. Third question. Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as ingredients. That is false. It is apricorns. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. True? Yes. Wow, I only have one more question to go. In Professor X's popular show, Pokemon Talk, he's on with Marie? Nope. Oh, I thought that was going to be wrong. I was going to say, I swear it's Mary. It's not Marie. All right, so we get the radio card, and then Whitney's like, whoa, 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 you just got a radio card. Wow, you did it. I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. Oops, it's time to go back to the gym. That's all it took. We might as well do our lotto number while we're here. Sure. Yes, I would. Our lotto number is 22962. Nope, we didn't get a match. Darn. All right, let's move on to... Now we can move on to the gym, I think. So we will go do that. Not a normal type gym anymore, because it is randomized, so it's a little scary. But I do want to battle everybody, because we need all of the experience we can get. Oh, you're a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Fine, don't hold back. See how I feel. Bug catcher Kate. Okay then, has a barboach. I'm gonna stay in an Aurora Beam. It's neutral. So these are pretty low leveled. I thought they'd be a little higher. Wow, that should have knocked it out. Are we going to level up from that? We do. Level 17. I will take it. I will take it. That is a easy first level. Electric. Okay, now we have to switch. Um, you know what? Let's go out into... Uh, let's go out into Teller and let's try out the new Earth Power. How about that? Although I think extra sensory would kill too. Um, I'm still going to use Earth Power. <laughs> Just because I want to see the animation. <laughs> Look at that awesome animation. That is crazy. This Earth Power is so OP on Teller. I love it. Plus he's got to level 19. So we get Teller to 19. And it has a Makuhita. Um... I guess I'll stay in. Kind of wanted to share the experience around, but nothing else can really handle a fighting type. 
easily, I should say. So we'll go for the extra sensory and blow this thing away. Like, we could probably kill this thing three times over. <laughs> Alright, so we take out the Makuhita. I think that was it for her. I don't... I think I would rather have Sheldon at 18 than maybe get Hansel at like 15. Because even a level 15 APOM isn't going to help us much in the gym. Because she only has two Pokemon. And I think it's like level 17 and 19, or maybe 15 and 17, or something like that. A B drill. I'm gonna stay in. I don't really know what he wants to do. I'm gonna just Aurora Beam. Goes for the Twin Needle. That's Bug type, right? But it can poison? I can't remember what Twin Needle does exactly. Not quite a two shot. I really thought it would be. Goes for the focus energy. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna crit fury attack us. Meh. Our defense is high. We should be good. Now I'm gonna go for the bite. Goes for the twin needle again. He could crit twin needle, I guess. I saw, I thought I was gonna say I thought twin needle poisoned, but I think it's a bug type move. So we take out the bee drill here. That should give us a decent amount of ex of experience. Yeah, 544. About halfway. We'll see what he wants to bring in. Golbat. Aurora Beam is super effective, but we're a little low. I don't really know what Golbat wants to do to us. He should be rocking all physical moves. Are we going to get hurt by poison again? No, okay. So I'm going to Aurora Beam. I think we can one-shot this thing. Yeah, this ain't going to do anything. Although, no, Leech Life is physical. Too bad it's not the Sun and Moon Leech Life. That would have been scary. <laughs> Base 80. Oh, we get so close to the one shot. I still don't think it can kill us. Even a, we're living a wing attack. Goes for the supersonic. Even if we hurt ourselves in confusion and the poison, we can still switch out. So we'll be fine. And we break through and get the Roar Beam off. So I don't think we get hurt by poison. Because we beat the Pokemon. We might level up. Yes! Okay, so level 18. Now we can focus on other people. 18 was where I wanted to get to. So now I'm going to lead with... Um, is Smokey a level 18? I can't remember. Let's uh, let's go ahead and use an antidote. We only have two, but I think we have some full heals. Okay, so Smokey is 18. I guess I'll lead with Hansel then. Um, yeah, let me, uh, let me put Hansel up front. Excuse me. Got the hiccups. So we'll lead with Hansel here. Um, is this not the right way to go? Oh, we have to go around back. Okay. Well, it's good we went that way. At least we got the battle here. So I think we got two more trainers. Depending on how badly we're hurt, I might just use potions instead of running back to heal. What you got for us? I think Apom runs Fake Out eventually, which could potentially... Ooh, a Clefable. That's actually scary. What are we rocking here? Scratch, Baton Pass, Sand Attack, and Astonish. Okay. So we do have to switch out here. I guess Arthur with Double Kick? Um. I don't really know. Yeah. I guess. Although, it's a girl, so... Oh no. Okay. This ain't gonna do much now that I'm thinking about it because of rivalry. Yeah. And we get infatuated. Goodness. Alright, what do you want to do? Are you gonna minimize again? Ghost for Sing. I'm actually gonna switch out into Teller, I think. I don't know. I don't. Is Teller a. Teller's a boy, too. I think infatuation only works on physical moves. And we hit the extra sensory, so this should knock it out. Okay, it does. Alright, cool. That should give us a decent amount of experience, even though it's split up. 156 ain't bad. So I'm still going to lead Hansel for uh, for this next trainer here. Boom, 
What you got? What you got? What you got? Swimmer Esteban. Okay. Has a Tangela. I think we can go out to Smokey. Pretty safe bet. You do not get Pursuit, so we should be good there. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Excuse my yawn. Alright. Ugh. I've been having problems with my ears and stuff, ear infections and whatnot. They just popped really bad <laughs> when I yawned. Alright, so we should be able to go for the Fire Fang. This should definitely pick up the knockout. Oh my gosh, it didn't. You gotta be kidding me. I guess Tangela does have some bulk to it. So we do get hurt by the poison. Um, I mean, Fire Fang has a 5% chance to miss. So, I'm not gonna go for that again if we don't have to. But we gotta keep in mind if something decides to minimize or sand attack or whatever, we do a faint attack. Which does, uh, which does not miss. So that's kind of nice. So we are poisoned here, and we aren't staying on a Quagsire anyway. Um, we literally have nothing for a Quagsire. We gotta go tell her. We don't have any grass type moves on our entire team. I would really like to switch Dim out. We don't have. Any, I don't think we have any grass types. I'm gonna go for the extra sensory. I don't know if this is gonna two shot or not. He's Quagsire is pretty bulky. What level are you? 15? Oh my goodness, it's definitely two-shotting. How much is this going to do, though? Okay, that doesn't do much. He does lower our... Oh, no, it lowers our speed. I think we'll still at speed. We're not like a Zam. We're definitely going to have speed. We do. Take out this Quagsire. This should give off some decent experience. We should have went out into Hansel first. We do get to level 20, though, with Teller. So I think we're at a good spot. If the trainers are having 15s and 17s, I feel like Whitney's going to have a 17 and 19. A Hypno. It's a little scary. I'm going to go on to Smokey because we have Feign Attack. I don't think we get hurt from the poison if we switch in. What level? 15. I don't think two Feign Attacks is going to kill. We're kind of at that scary health range. Oh, it definitely... Wow. We just got a crit and o code it. That's actually really, really good. Because I was kind of worried about a Psychic. Or something of the sort coming from that Hypno. And doing a lot of damage to us. So let's see what we got. We got 15 potions and... Okay, so I'm going to use this on Smokey. Instead of running back, let's use some potions. So we can use, let's use two potions on Sheldon. Because I don't think we have any Orin Berries. I want to be fully healed for the battle, so even if it's a little bit of a waste for a potion, it's not that big a deal. I'm not going to use one on Teller. Three HP is nothing, so we can heal that up with leftovers. I'm not going to lead Hansel, because I'm not worried about experience in a gym battle. Um, I think Tellers are most diverse with a ground and psychic type and he can pretty much handle anything she wants to throw at us except maybe like an Absol or something <laughs> hi I'm Whitney you I saw you at the radio tower just now everyone was into Pokemon so I got into it too Pokemon are super cute you want to battle I'm warning you I'm good sure battle me you won't do it you won't do it let's see what she got schoolboy Lawrence what you got for me a Lugs Ray. Hello. Uh. I don't think we can switch in anything. It's gonna have Bite or Crunch. We can go for the Earth Power. Is it gonna kill? <sighs> Please kill. I do not want to take a Crunch. Yes. Tell her. You legend. Tell her you legend. <laughs> Holy crap. I think a crunch might have killed us. Maybe it would have to have been a crit to kill us. But still, I don't want to take that chance. Combuskin? I think we can stay in. Teller's just going to destroy this gym. I think an extra sensory kills this thing. 
Stab, e stab, extra sensory, super effective. And we outspeed. I don't think you're living. An Alakazam. Yeah, get out of here. Holy crap, Teller. You need to calm down, my friend. You need to calm down. Oh my goodness. Level 21. <laughs> Teller is a beast, man. That egg hatch came coming in so clutch. If you guys didn't know, if you guys are just starting the series from here or whatever. Holy crap. We hatched uh, Teller from an egg. The Togepi egg. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. What a loser. What? What do you want? A badge? Oh right, I forgot. Here's the plain badge. I'm kind of curious. I want to see what uh, what TM we get. The plain badge lets you let your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. Oh, you can have this too. So we get the TM45, which is usually a tract. But it's not. She says it is, but it's not. So we can check out the Pokeathlon Dome, but I think I'm not going to. It doesn't have anything to do with the story, and it doesn't help us in any way, so... Vine Whip. Oh, I think a lot of people can learn this. Everyone can learn Vine Whip. That is so awesome. Grass-type move, finally. So I'm not going to teach it to anyone just yet. I think I might teach it to Hansel. So that way he has some kind of use on our team. Um, because right now, normal isn't good against anything, obviously. So, he doesn't have that much use being on our team. But giving him a grass-type move, plus his physical attack is pretty good. Um, that means we could switch into him on water types, on ground types. I think he would be, uh, I think that would be pretty good on him. We'll get him leveled up just a little bit first. Fine Whip isn't too crazy of a move. I know it's only base 40. But still, to have something super effective against something like that Quagsire would be really awesome. So I think I am going to teach it to him. You know what? Let's just do it. Because if we do come across something, at least he can come in and kind of handle it. I know he doesn't have a lot of bulk, but he does have the speed. So let's go do that. Let's do Vine Whip. It's actually only base 35. But super effective brings it to 70. Or no, a super effective one and a half times. Maybe it's one and a half times. So what's 17? 17 plus... So it's like 52 or something like that? Base 52, which ain't bad. So let's go teach it a handle. Does it show us our stats too? Our attack? Okay, at least we don't have an attack lowering nature. Um... Hmm. I'm thinking baton pass. We don't have any setup moves, so... Doesn't really help us. Alright, so he learns Vine Whip. I kind of want to teach him Fire Fang, too, to be honest. What is our, uh... What's our money looking like? Right, we got four grand. Let's go grab one more Fire Fang. And I might teach it to him instead of Sand Attack. Actually, instead of Astonish. That way he at least has a strong move, because Fire Fang is 65, base 65. I know we already have Smokey, and it's always better to use it on him. But, if we're in, um, I'm trying to think of, like, any way that would be useful. Is it four? Nope, we gotta go up one more. Fire Fang, super effective against Steel. So, like, I wouldn't really want to be in on a Steelix with Magmar, because he could, like, Earthquake or something. So, I guess that would be useful. Um, alright, so we can buy one of these. I might buy another Earth Power too, although I don't know who could learn it. Silver Wind. What's Bug good against? Psychic? Is that it? Um, Dizzy Punch we already have. Um, I guess I'll buy a Silver Wind just to see if anyone can learn it. I guess if Teller could learn it, that'd be pretty good. Let's check it out. We're going to teach Fire Fang to... I think it's, I think everyone can learn this, right? I hope so. Okay. So let's teach it to Hansel. Our Pokemon are going to have some crazy moves. Let's go instead of Astonish, I think. 
Because we're never going to use it. We have Fane Attack on Smokey, so... So we'll teach him Fire Fang. Let's see if anyone learns Silver Wind. I don't know what it normally is. Only Dim can do it. And actually it's Stab, too. Could anyone learn Dizzy Punch? Just tell her. Okay. So I think we'll I think we'll rock out with this for now. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna put Hansel up front. I think Hansel's high enough to live a pursuit from anything. So nothing really to be afraid of. You just gotta be really careful when they're low levels. I noticed some of you guys said that you were playing uh, your own games, uh, randomized or just regular Nuzlocks or whatever, in the in uh, the comment section. You guys talked about it. But um, you just got to be very careful if you're doing something randomized of the pursuit if your Pokemon are below like level 10. So I think we're going to skip the Pokeathlon. There's no encounters there or anything. It's just kind of a waste of time for a playthrough. So we will check out. I don't know what day it is in the game. But we, if we can do the bug catching contest, I mean, they aren't going to be bugs though. I don't know how that would work. We can at least get an encounter. We can get two encounters. So no bug catching contest because I'm pretty sure someone stands there. So what we're going to do for National Park, we get an encounter. And then we also get an encounter to the right of National Park. So let's open up six packs and do both of those encounters in the same little section. All right, so let's do National Park first. So we need three packs for National Park's encounter. And then we'll do the route to the right of National Park. Hopefully we can at least pull a hollow. Or actually, to be honest, I kind of want a full art so we could switch dim for somebody. But maybe it's good we don't pull it yet. Because maybe we want something more powerful in the PC first. As we get a reverse Luxio and a regular rare Zip Strike up. So nothing in our first pack there. And like I said in the last episode, you guys did mention... If we do pull a hollow, um, our second chance encounter has to be a different Pokemon. So if we run into a Weedle, we use our second chance and we run into another Weedle, it does not count and we get to continue to get that second chance until um, we encounter something different. So we actually got a reverse rare Suicune in that pack, but no hollow. So hopefully we can pull something here, at least in one of our encounters. We got a Puzzle of Time, Bursting Balloon, Shelter. Splitzel, Ferrisseed, Electabuzz, Nummel, a Reverse Corsola, and a Full Art Manaphy. <laughs> Holy crap. That is so cool. Oh, one of the cards that is really coming up in, uh, in like, competitive because the Water Patch coming out in SM2. If you guys don't know what that is, it brings an energy from, um a water energy from your discard pile and attach it to one of your Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. So I think this is, is this our first full art for those series? I think it is. Oh no, we get, well, we got a secret rare. Technically that's a full art, but this is technically our first quote unquote full art pool. So we do get the option to switch a Pokemon from um, our party to our PC. So how this is going to work, even though we're opening packs for, another encounter right now also um, which we will do as I'm explaining this we cannot use that Pokemon because we did this encounter first I think that's how we should do it how the rules should play out so we cannot use the route to the right of National Park's encounter um, as our switch into our party because technically if we did this in order if we did if we pulled the full art got our encounter and then and then went we, it wouldn't even be there so the full art cannot be that Pokemon. It can be anything else we have in the PC. So I think Pinsir is going to finally leave our party. Pinsir's nice and all, but I don't know. Not really feeling Pinsir for some reason. So we'll see what else we have in our... Now we don't have to use it, but I definitely want to look. Because I don't even remember what we have in our PC at the moment. Um, plus we also get an encounter. Now, it does count for the National Park encounter. So we're going to encounter in National Park and then... Whatever we catch in National Park can be used to switch into our party. Just not this this one here. I don't know what route it is. <laughs> we got Spritzy, Shinx, a Reverse Garchomp that is a rare, and a Gyarados EX. Oh, baby, the pools are on. 
I almost said on fleek. Holy crap. Hang on a minute. Let me step back and not say that ever again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyway, we got a Gyarados EX. I don't know why I'm hard sleeving these now. I haven't been the whole time, but it is what it is. So, to be honest, if we pull a hollow in this pack, I would rather use the second chance. But we could always put items on Pokemon. Hansel, actually, Hansel has pickup, so I don't know if I would want to use items on him or not. Her, I mean. Reverse Trubbish and a regular Air Ferrothorn. Oh, I don't know who to put items on. Um, so, technically... This wouldn't have gotten pulled until after this, after the full art encounter thing. So let's encounter what we can do for National Park and we'll see what we catch, what we switch in, and then we'll decide who we put items on. Okay, so we got the full art pool. So like I said, how we're going to do this is we are going to, I'm not sure how I should lead with here. I think I should lead with Hansel because I don't know what level these Pokemon are going to be. Um, we get to encounter whatever we get here, only our first encounter. Now, let me move this just like that. There we go. We do have a Master Ball, so if it is something like a Legendary or whatnot, we can just do that. It is a Hippowdon. <laughs> that is actually perfect. Actually, maybe not. With the Sand Stream? I kind of don't want to stay in, but who are we going to switch to? I guess Sheldon? Um... So I want a Sandstream Pokemon on my team. It's going to be damaging us every turn. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Let's just focus on catching it first. Let's go for the bite. I don't think this will kill. Nah, we can do that again. Crit bite won't kill. I know I said this last time. I know I said this last time, but it won't. I swear. Oh, we're asleep because of the yawn. Of course we are. Of course we are. Alright, so... Let's get out of this sleep real quick. Goes for the yawn again. Is that all you got? I hope you at least have a good move. I don't... We might be able to teach her earth power, although I think this thing is physical. Goes for the annoying sand attack. So even if we wake up, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit this thing. I just know that this sandstorm is going to be so annoying if it's on our team. Has the tackle. Does five damage as a crit. Goodness, my hiccups won't go away. We are still asleep. Come on. He actually has bite. I mean, bite, sand attack, tackle, yawn. So he doesn't have any he doesn't have any stab. So I think that's all we're gonna take him down to. Now that we know that he doesn't have stab, we can switch into somebody else. I'm going to go out to Arthur. Now that we know he doesn't have a ground side move. I keep saying he. It's a she. I'm sorry, Hippowdon. It's a she. Goes with a yawn, which is fine, because we're just throwing Pokeballs at this point. We don't have poison points, so you can't poison yourself. But we're just going to heal that back up. Oh, you know what? See, I think that's okay, because we have Teller, who's holding leftovers, and Arthur, who's holding Black Sludge. So two members of our team really don't mind the sand at all. So, let's go for Pokeballs. Let's just throw regular ones for now. We can resort to Great if we run into some trouble. One, two, three. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, there is our first encounter, or first catch of the episode. Pretty awesome catch, if I do say so myself. So, now, this Pokemon, we can switch in because we did pull a full art. So, if we would like to put this in our team for someone else, we can which we will take a look at in a second. So, what should we name this thing? Female Hippo. Um, I don't know if this is gonna fit. But I'm kinda feeling it. We're going Henrietta. I don't know if that's how you spell it. We're going Henrietta the Hippowdon. I like the, uh, no, don't, don't, don't. Okay. I don't know what, what is it called when you use two consonants? Is it alliteration? I feel like it's alliteration. So I want to go this way. Are we going to have to battle people first? We are. Are we healed up enough? 
Let's use a potion on Sheldon, just in case if we run into a ground type. He's really our only option. <laughs> Uh, we have regular potions. I'm just going to use one. Just use one on Sheldon. That'll be fine. We are still going to lead with Hansel. Let's grab this uh, Apricorn, even though I'm never going to use it. The completionist in me forces me to. I got no other option. Alright, so we'll grab the blue Apricorn and we will battle this guy here. And then you can see that grass there. We can get an encounter, so... We did pull an Ultra Rare for this route, so... We, um... We get to have someone hold items. 14. Do we want to try and go for it? What does this thing want to do? We missed... Oh no. Pound. That's actually stab. What? That's crazy. Alright, we're switching out. So... I don't want to... What if he gets, like, metronome explosion or metronome guillotine or something? Please. Take down. That's actually stab too. What the heck? So let's just go for the faint attack. We need to get this thing out of here as fast as faint attack. I mean, fire fang. Ugh. Oh, sweet kiss. I'm actually okay with that. Honestly, I'd rather you confuse me than use metronome. Metronome is so scary. Let's go for the Fire Fang. There we go. Get this thing out of here. I hate mentioning it with a burning passion. Get it burning because we're using a Magmar. Uh -huh. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, so we take that guy out. Just missed the level. And a Happini. I mean, I'm going out into Hansel again. Does this thing have Metronome too? I really don't think this thing has anything. I really want to stay in. I'm going to. I don't know how much we're going to do, but it's defense is booty. Oh. Wait, does that mean it's going to use Fire Fang or does it learn Fire Fang? It missed. <laughs> Hansel, you monster. Dodging everything. Get out of here. Give me that experience. 765. Oh, I love it. I love it. Are we going to get another level? Please tell me. Yes! Hansel! Hansel is coming. I think he learns double hit at like level 30 or something. Blossom? I kind of want to stay in. I don't want to get greedy. But I think we're living a hit. How do we miss again? And it misses... Okay. If it hit that, I definitely would have switched out. We will go for the Fire Fang. This should two-shot it. Or not. Holy crap. Alright, yeah, I'm going to switch out here. There's no sense in risking Hansel. I don't want to get too carried away. So let's switch out into Smokey. We really have no reason not to. His Fire Fang should definitely take this thing out. <laughs> now it will definitely take this thing out. So he's going to outspeed us because of his Chlorophyll now. If he has Chlorophyll, I'm assuming he does. Yeah. Goes with the Sweet Scent, that's fine. That doesn't do anything for us. And we mi What is up with this, man? Where are your glasses at? Where are your glasses at? We missed it three times in the past, like, five moves. That is nuts. It's a 5% chance that we missed it three out of, like... Three out of six, I think. So Hansel gets to level 15. He's coming. She's coming. Wants to learn Tickle. No. Give up on Tickle. Smokey should level up too. So level 19 there. Although Smokey can't evolve. Fire spin. I just... Um... I don't think we can get rid of Rock Smash. So I'm not going to learn it. The only thing I would get rid of Fire Fang for would be Flamethrower. Um, I know it's not physical. And I think we are physical. But, um... I think, do we have to battle someone else? Okay, no. So, whatever our encounter is here, actually, before we do this, let me not have Hansel in first. Um, I'm going to go Arthur. Because with his Poison Sting, he can kind of do damage on a smaller scale. Or Peck, I guess. So, our encounter for this route is... 
a shiftry. So a poison sting is super effective. There's no way a poison sting kills a shiftry. Okay. And it didn't poison either. Although he's in a dangerous range, we can't poison sting again because if we get the poison he dies. I don't think I've ever used a shiftry. And it's a grass type. The only problem is, is we can't use the full art for this encounter. Um, I don't know if a feign attack would kill it. <sighs> I don't think a bite... Oh no, we can't go... He's going to have a grass type move. I'm just going to throw a Pokeball. I can't really do anything else safely. A peck would kill it. I think. So peck is base 40. So peck is base 40, but it's super effective. So that brings it to what, 60? Poison Sting is what, base 15? Base 15 plus stab is like 22, so it's definitely weaker. So we can't peck. Headbutt's base 70, we can't do that. I think I just have to throw a Pokeball. <sighs> One. This might take a while. Goes with a faint attack. So, on Smokey, Fane Attack's base 60. I don't think we can even do that. What's 22? 22 and a half. Super effective is 1.5. I think we can. Let's check out um, Arthur's attack. 37. What's Smokey's? 47. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so it's definitely gonna kill. Um, you know what? Let's switch out into Smokey and hope he gets burned. I think that's our only way. We're never going to catch this thing in the green. It's a fully evolved Pokemon. Goes for the Razor Leaf. That's not contact, so it's not going to burn. But he's, he could uh, go for the Feign Attack, which I think he will because Razor Leaf's not very effective. So we'll just keep throwing Pokeballs, hopefully he burns himself. And hopefully we catch him before the burn kills him. No! Is that the end? I feel like he used that before. Did it miss or something? Because for some reason in my head, he w I was like... I feel like I just saw a whirlwind, but I wasn't really paying attention. Well that kind of sucks. Not like we could have put him in our party anyway, but it's I'm not wasting a Master Ball on him, so it was, we didn't really have a choice there. Um, let's try and get to... So... We have to... I'm so used to being able to restore Pokemon from that menu. I want to go to Paralyze Heal. Use that on Hansel. You know what, we're going to use a Potion on him too while we're here. We're going to put him out front for some trainers. So let's switch that. I'm going to keep Teller there because I think we do have a double battle coming up. Oh, we didn't grab the squirt bottle. Shoot, so we do have to go back. Rip. Okay, so I was thinking we'd just move on to Ecritique City before we... Um, wow, 17. That's actually kind of scary. I'm going to switch here. Normally I'd stay in and let Hansel Firefang... Okay. Oh, <laughs> I told you guys. I hate Pursuit. I hate Pursuit. Thank goodness, Hansel's 15. Alright, get out of here, Trico. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So, actually, there's a lot of trainers we can still battle. I think we will. No. No. Okay, so, 
We already got our encounter here. We don't have the squirt bottle, so we can't move ahead. But a, I think there's like three or four trainers in this national park area. So let's get Hansel up a few levels. The world is deep. There are still lots of things we don't know. But I know more than you do. Oh. Oh, this guy flexing. This guy is flexing. Performer Robin. Gastrodon. Someone say Vine Whip. I think I heard someone say Vine Whip. It's, it might not even do half, to be completely honest. <laughs> okay, it did a little more than I thought. <laughs> Goes for the Harden. I'm fine with that. You're going to give us enough experience. I think we're going to level up. I think we're going to level up. Get out of here, Gastrodon. 451? Ah, we might not. Hey, we do. Level 16. So if, if we get to level 18 before we battle all these trainers... Um, Metadite. I really don't want to stay in. I guess I'll go out into Smokey. I really don't want to stay in. Um, what was I saying? I, I was going to say, if we get to level 18 before we're finished battling all the trainers... Maybe we'll go out, go back to the Pokemon Center, um, use our full art to switch out, and, oh, excuse me, those hiccups, man. Maybe we'll use our full art to switch out and then train up that Pokemon? But we're going to have a potential full team here if we like any of the ones in our PC. I can't remember what we have. Because I like everyone but Pinsir on our team at the moment. We got some Stab Fire, we got Stab Psychic, although Arthur needs a Poison type move at some point. Magneton. I don't think we can stay in. At all. So I will go out into Smokey here. Although this thing is pretty scary. It gets Sonic Boom. Goes for the Super Sonic. So if this has like Thunderbolt, that'll be scary too. But even Sonic Boom is scary. So we do hurt ourselves. Come on. Sonic Boom. At least we know we're living. We can use a Super Potion. Sonic Boom does 20 damage every time. No crits. So at least we know how much he's going to do. We just got to break through Confusion. We just got to watch for the Thunderbolt. I don't know what level Magneton gets Thunderbolt. Burn yourself. Yes! Flame body coming in clutch. Doesn't affect the sonic boom at all, but it is residual. And we snap out of confusion. I don't think this is going to one-shot. I think his defense is too high. And it does one-shot. Okay. So we take out the magneton there. That's all this guy has. Preschooler pie. Your pie was delicious. Alright, so there are some items we can get too. But let's battle all the trainers first. Let's see what else we could have gotten. A coffin! Kind of glad we didn't get this thing because this thing does rock self-destruct. So let's get out of here. Alright, so... Then we got two more. This one and the one in the front. I think that's all we got. Just two more trainers. Sunkern. Well, we can stay in on this thing. Lowest base stats in the game. Other than wishy-washy, but that's not in this game. We miss another Fire Fang, and he hits a base 55 accuracy. <sighs> it has 55% accuracy, and we miss our 95% Fire Fang. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> if this thing uses another growth, we're... I know it's a Sun Current, and I shouldn't be afraid, but I'm kind of afraid. Goes for the ingrain. He probably has absorb. Which is base 20 plus stab is 30. And we're still asleep. Goes for it. He's plus 3 right now. He is plus 3. Please, wake up. Fire Fang. Jeez. Is this going to kill? It is. Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. That was a mess of a battle. Cast form. 
Um, as much as I want to stay in and get the experience, I feel like he has the potential to use Rain Dance. So, I feel like we wouldn't really have much of an option there. So I'm just going to go out and double kick. He's going to set up some kind of weather before he does anything. So double kick really doesn't do that much. Might, I think we got a high roll in that second kick. He just goes for the tackle. I thought he would go for the weather. Really thought he would. Let's just go for the double kick. There's a chance that this doesn't pick it up because I think we got a high roll. I don't know. It's definitely picking it up. I think we got two high rolls. On like one of the kicks, I mean. So 528 there. That should be it. So now there's one more trainer, I believe. Come on, no. I don't want your phone numbers. I think one of these items in the behind the fence is a TM. So if we can get, I guess, like, like Earthquake <laughs> and Hippowdon can learn it because obviously it's randomized to whatever it is. Nincada. I don't know what this thing wants to do, but our Fire Fang is super effective. We actually hit it this time. It might two-shot. Pretty close. Goes for the lead. Crap, it's not going to two-shot now. Because he's going to heal. We need the burn. We need the burn. Or the flinch. Oh! How did that do so much? How did that do so much? That was like the highest of all high rolls. Well, I'm not complaining. We got to level 17. <laughs> this chick has three Bonsly. Bonds lie, whatever. Please, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. They act so upset every time you say no, too. I feel so bad. Alright, so there's an item there. I think you go in up here. This guy's playing on his Game Boy. We don't have Rock Climb, so we can't get whatever that is. I don't think you get Rock Climb until, like, end game. So we still have to choose a Pokemon to put items on, too, but I want to wait until we use our Fool Art to switch out. Not sure if I'm going to go Hippowdon. I think it's the obvious answer because he's so strong. She's so strong, I mean. I just don't know if I want to deal with Sandstream on our team all the time. Because if Hippowdon's on our team and we get Swallow. So it was a TM, but it's just a crappy one. If Hippowdon's on our team, I'm going to want to use her because, I mean, it's power. Let's be honest. Is there an item down here? No, I don't want a headbutt. Is there really not an item down here? Why did they let me come all the way down here? I'm pressing A. Give me an item. Uh, I don't think there's an item. That is so weird. Why would you let me run the whole way down there? Put a tree or something. Alright, so let's get out of here. Let's run back to the Pokemon Center. And we're going to use our Fool Art. I think maybe in the next card lock we do, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm not going to switch it up now because we, we already switched up one of the rules with the hollow and the double encounter thing. So I don't want to be switching up all the rules. But I think in the next card lock, if we pull a full art, it might count as like a token that we could use at any time. That way, even if we pull one at the beginning of the game before we have six members, we can still use it later. I think that's what I might do in the next card lock, if I even remember. <laughs> but that's like way ahead. We're, on, we're only, what, three badges in? We got plenty of this one to go, so we got to focus on beating this one. Because we tried a Blaze Black. Blaze Black Nuzlocke, and that did not go so well. We lost on the... But we didn't even get a badge. We lost, <laughs> we lost in, like, one of the first battles. All right, so let's uh, let's heal up first. Let's heal up first. The camera's going to go all over the place because getting resituated. All right, so let's uh, let's heal up here. Then we're going to use our Fool Art. We didn't catch a Shift Tree, so that doesn't matter. But even if we did catch a Shift Tree, we wouldn't be able to use the Fool Art on it because it was in the route after. So, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's move. So we have Combuskin. Oh, wait, Combuskin, you're alive. I must have just ended up on the dead box. Hang on. Because Hibaldon is not dead either. You go over here. 
There we go. OCD. Okay, so that's our dead box. This is who we got. We got Tentacle, who's holding a grass mail. Can we take that from you? Mail can't be taken away. I think we tried that before. We got a Combuskin. Octillery, Gloom, Combi, and Hempowdon. Um, as much as I want to take Combuskin, we already have Smokey. I don't think that would make any sense. We could take Octillery. Because even though we have Cloyster, it's not really there for a water type. It's there for a nice type. Because he doesn't have any water type moves. I don't know if he learns any. Like at all. Um, and this is positive special attack nature. I think this is what we do. That gives us a really good water type, which we don't have on our team. I mean, we have Cloister, but like I said, no water type moves. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is our team. We put Dim back in. She's not dead. She's just replaced. So we can also give items to one Pokemon. Um, so Hansel is holding an item, a Repel. So tell her already know... Teller, Arthur, Smokey, and Sheldon all already have items. So I think the best bet would be... I think I'm going to go Octomom. Because Hansel has pickup. So let's do that. And if we pull another Ultra Rare, then... Um, then we'll just give it to Hansel. We don't have to have them hold an item just because they can. So let's see if we have anything for Octomom. Oval Stone, no. Okay, so we have a Splash Plate. We have a Silk Scarf if we ever get Hansel, so let's uh, let's give the Splash Plate to Octomom. I don't think we have any more leftovers or anything. Nope. So let's just do that for now. So our team is all set. We used all of our pools. So let's go grab the Squirt Bottle. Let's go up and battle the Sudowoodo because it is a static encounter. Now we don't get to open packs for that encounter. Just making sure we have Pokeballs. We do. Um... We don't get to open packs for that encounter because it is static, sort of like Teller was for the egg. Um, we don't get to like choose or run away or anything, so. Alright, so she gives us... Okay, so she gives us a squirt bottle. Alright, cool. So, let's go see what that static encounter is. We can catch it. It is going to be randomized, and I think I'm going to lead Arthur. Because it's I think it's I think it's gonna be level 20. So it could potentially be super scary. So well I have to see what it is. I'm kind of nervous. Um because it's going to be level 20. So if it's something super powerful, we might have to Oh. It's nighttime, so these cops want to battle now. Danger lurks in the night. Well, what you got? What you got? What you got? Usually has Growlithe, I think. A Happini. We already saw one of you this episode. But you give off a crap ton of experience, so I will knock you out. Barely takes two double kick. I think we're going to level up. Like, I'm not even kidding. We do. Level 22. <laughs> Happini just gives off so much experience. Look at that. Flygon. Sheldon. You have been summoned. <laughs> I don't... Even if it gets Dragon Rage, we're living, so... Plus, I think we'll outspeed. Only because we overlevel. Not overleveled. Only be... Oh, wow. See, we don't even outspeed. I don't think Octillery is much faster, if faster at all, so... Not like it matters, but Aurora Beam should definitely take this thing out. Quadruple effective. And stab. That should give us a hefty amount of experience, too. 591. Pretty easy there, Gymnast Kate. No, Lyra, leave. So we can't just cut through this tree. Another Combuskin. I'm surprised we actually caught Combuskin. Starters usually have pretty hard catch rates. I think after the static encounter for where the Sudowoodo is, um, I think that is where we will end off the episode. 
I kind of wish we got Glalie, I'm not gonna lie. I might have actually used Glalie instead of Cloyster. <laughs> Wait, oh, we got rid of Dim. Crap, can anyone learn Cut? I forgot. Can anyone learn Cut? Please tell me someone can. Arthur and Hansel. He already has kind of booty moves. 50. I know it's our only flying type, but we never use Peck. And we need Cut on our team. Uh, somewhere. And our team is like pretty much what it's going to be until we lose somebody yet right now, so. I don't, I mean, we have to teach Cut to someone. So Arthur goes ahead and use cut there. Let's go up and see what this static encounter is. Kinda excited, kinda scared. There's an odd tree. Use the squirt bottle. Yes. Let's see what's disguising as this tree. We know it's not gonna be a pseudo The odd tree attacked. So we can catch whatever this is. And it is going to be... A spoink. <laughs> <laughs> I will catch it, although we do need to swap out. Let's go on to Teller. Because I don't think this thing has anything but Psy Wave, maybe. Or Psy Beam. Can't resist Psy Wave, because it does a set amount of damage. I'm going to Earth Power. And hope this doesn't kill. Because I'm pretty sure his special defense is, like, stupid high. Yeah. So Earth Power is what? Base 90. And Extra Sensory is base 80 plus Stab is 1.5, so 120 plus not very effective, so 60. Right? So this shouldn't kill. This should do less than Earth Power. Okay. Oh, yes. Math. Math, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh man, I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous, not gonna lie. So, we'll throw some Pokeballs here. Spoink ain't bad. If we ever... Oh, I don't even want to say it, but if we ever lose Teller for some reason, Spoink is a nice backup Psychic type. I'll take it. Like I said, special defense through the roof, so... Definitely a tank, which we do not really have on our team other than Cloyster physically. So we do catch Spoink. Give a nickname to the cult Spoink. Yes, please. You are... You know what? We're going to name her Peppa. Peppa Pig. Except we're just going with Peppa. Peppa the Spoink. But I think this is where we're going to end off this episode. It is quite long. That was fun. I want to give you this for entertaining me. We get the berry pots. Okay. Not going to ever use them, but it's fine. She's going to give us some berries, too. Orin berries. Pekka berries. Is that it? Okay. Oh my gosh, shut up. Uh, okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Actually, I never updated the layout. It'll be updated for the start of the next episode. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But I will update it at the start of the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you leave a like if you do. Leave a like. Uh, you, bleh. Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Tell me what I can do better. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.